Poop right now. Really feel like poop. I don't even feel like going to the gym. That's why I'm going early. Get over with. Honestly, guys, I'm really starting to like these red uh, rock stars. <laughs> Almost said monster again. It matches my debit card, which I can hardly show you, but just to show you the top of it, that's my debit card. Matches my debit card. Matches my free State Farm sunglasses that I got from doing my promo event last year. And it's my favorite color. Red is my favorite color. So ready to be back on that bulk life. Guys, I've been doing some thinking the past three minutes and I'm gonna conclude that it's almost harder on your body to diet for a longer period of time at a lower caloric deficit than it is to just get it over with and get back on a surplus because I haven't really been on that much of an intense caloric deficit. I'm not super shredded. I'm probably like eight, nine percent body fat. I'm probably somewhere around there and I'm just feeling like burnt right now. I'm just feeling fatigued mentally and physically. And it's just probably because I've been in and out of a caloric deficit for three months. I'm starting to really feel it. And I'm not used to it. Maybe dieted on 300 carbs or 325, something like that, instead of 400. And just cut 10, 15 pounds in about half the time that maybe it would have been better. I don't know. I'm going to try that next time. Maybe. Or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know, just some pure thoughts for no reason here. I'm not I'm not going to get into the science of it. I'm not going to get all sciencey. I could, but I will leave that for another time. It's not bringing any science into what I just said because I may or may not be right. I may be completely wrong with that, so don't judge me. I'm not trying to be scientific or correct here. Just taking a general observation of how I'm feeling and how I might be able to do things differently next time. You know what? I'm about to be a little child. What's up? <laughs> so weird. So tangy. Gosh, I love drinking sour water melon drinks. guys it is 10 20 and I can't sleep like whatsoever like my mind is just like spinning like popping off left and right left and right I can't stop thinking about the photo shoot this weekend getting it done I can't stop thinking about publishing hashtag gains I can't stop thinking about launching alpha 100 my mind is just spinning and spinning and spinning I'm thinking about how I'm gonna do the full commercial for alpha 100 what the book's gonna be like, what the book's gonna do, what the program's gonna do, what the photo shoot's gonna be like this weekend. And let me tell you something, guys. This is something that happens when you're dieting. When you're dieting, when you get to a point where you're depleted and you can't sleep well, you'll get to those nights where you'll just be thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking, and you almost have to slow yourself down. Otherwise, you'll be up all night, you won't sleep, and you'll stress yourself out like crazy because this is something that, that dieting does to you. It, it makes you where you can't sleep at night, where you can't, you don't feel like getting up in the morning. Your workouts are sometimes garbage. You just, like, literally all day I've not felt like moving. Actually, the reason that I haven't really been vlogging much today is I went to the gym early, right? That's the last time you guys saw me, like, eight hours ago. I went to the gym... Actually, it was more than eight hours ago. It was nine hours ago. I went to the gym around like one. Worked out. Uh, did about 30 minutes of cardio and a light upper body uh, workout. Plus a little bit of quads. And then came home. Just kind of laid around and felt like crap for a couple of hours. Ate some food around 5.30. Went on a little walk at the park. 
got really weak again, came back home, had a complete cookie, and just been kind of chilling, brainstorming, and talking, and talking. I've got so much going on in my life right now. Some family things that are slightly stressful that I'm trying to work on and figure out myself, as well as all the business stuff that's going on all at once right now, and I'm so, so, so excited to get everything going. Guys, there was a talk that I listened to recently that I want you guys to watch. If you can look this up, it's changed my outlook on business, life, and just communication in general. It is a talk by a guy named Damn it, damn it. It's a talk by a guy named Simon Sinek. So look up Simon Sinek why. Simon Sinek, find your why. Look this up on YouTube and watch the speech. It's literally changed the way I think about business, relationships, and everything. So I was always the type of person that would overanalyze everything that I'm doing, overcriticize everything that I'm doing. If I create a product or a service or anything else, I want the amount of value that it gives to people to completely change their life in every sort of way. I want the amount of value that I give to be worth so much more than what I charge that people forget about what they paid for it. They completely forget about oh, whatever they paid for it. I don't even want that to be a question. Them paying for it is just so that I can give my time to them. So that I can give my service to them. Otherwise, you know, that's that's just that it. That, that is it. I'm literally, I want my, my, my services and my products to be so valuable that, that money isn't even a thing. People are just like, that is so, it, it helps people so much that, that, that that's not even a barrier, not even a thing. Guys, the thing is, a book, a product, or a service, it's only worth what we see it as worth. It's only worth our why. It's only worth our belief. There are a lot of programs out there. There are a lot of books out there. And they all work for a lot of people, and they all equally don't work for a lot of other people. Basically, the people that are going to buy your products, services, books, all that stuff, are the people that align with your vision, your mission statement, and your goals and your ambitions in life. People that align with that are going to align and they're going to buy your products and services. They're not buying something because of how cool it is and all the functionality and stuff and everything that it does. They're buying it because it aligns with their vision. They're not buying what it is. They're buying why it is. There are a lot of products and services out there. Some of them may be just extremely intricate amazing products and services but if that person is just selling it because they're trying to make money or they thought it was, it was a good market to get into so they created that product or service and they don't have a very very powerful why behind it then people are going to come up and say it just doesn't feel right i feel like something doesn't feel right about this product or service or i feel like i'm being sold to or i just i don't like it something draws me away then you see a product, something like Apple, and you're like, just oh, like oh my god, like everything about that company is amazing because their why behind it, they want to make every product as beautiful, as intricate, as powerful as they possibly can. They're not trying to just sell something. They're not trying to just stay on top of the market. They're trying to get better and better and better. There's a reason that companies like Apple and Tesla keep innovating and innovating and innovating and getting better and leading the world and leading the world. I've got so much going on in my head right now, obviously, as you can see. But the point is, my eyes are open right now. The program that I'm going to be selling, Alpha 100, the book that I'm going to be giving you guys, the value of those two items, those two products, is not predicated on what they are, but predicated on why they are. Why do we get into the fitness lifestyle? Why do we want to get in better shape? Why do we want to want to make and hit goals? Why do we want to inspire others? Why do we want to grow and change and get better 
and better and better. The program in the book is predicated on that. It's predicated on growth. It's predicated on the fitness lifestyle. It's predicated on setting and accomplishing goals. It's predicated on learning progression, on learning how to structure your workouts, how to structure your macros, how to, how to do everything. It's predicated on all that stuff. It's the lifestyle. It's the vision. It's the belief. That is what I'm giving to you guys. It's not just a program in a book. It's the vision. It's the why. It's the belief. That is what I'm doing, guys. That is what I'm doing. That's why I believe that it's going to be successful, and I believe that it's going to, that it's going to change people's lives. I 100% believe that. I'm not trying to just create something to sell out and make money. That's not what I'm about. That's never, ever, ever what I've been about. Ever since I was six years old, I remember saying that I want to create things that can affect the world, that can help a lot of people. And I remember being six, seven years old and saying that the weirdest things my mom, like I want to change all these people's lives. I want to do this. I want to, I want to do this stuff for you. I want to, I don't want you to have to work and all that sort of stuff. And I was like six or seven. Most people say that when they're like 15, 16, like, yeah, I want to, I don't, I, I don't want my parents to have to work anymore. I want to do all this sort of stuff. I was saying this kind of stuff at six or seven. I knew at six or seven that I wanted to work for myself and create things, but I just, I knew, but I didn't understand it. I didn't understand who I was. I, obviously, I was who I was, but I thought I was just weird and different. Not until 19, 20 years old did I realize that at heart, at soul, that I am a creator. That's me. I'm a creator. I'm on fire the most, happiest the most when I'm creating things, creating products, creating services, creating videos, create just creating. It's not one specific thing that I create, it's just creating things and getting better, more intricate, more artistic, just creating better and better things and learning and learning and creating. That is what I thrive off of. I can get things thrown at me left and right, stresses here and there and there and there and there. As long as I'm creating and getting better and better and better, I'm fine. Nothing can tear me down. Nothing can stop me as long as I'm creating. All of you guys, so much. Hopefully you got something from this rant that I just had. It's it's 1030. I'm probably not going, going to be able to just go to bed immediately because of the diet and everything on my mind, but... You guys are awesome. I want you to know that. I'm going to keep making these videos. Daily uploads this week until the photo shoot Saturday. I've got a lot on my mind. I've got a lot going on. But you guys should be excited because Alpha 100 is on the brink of being done. Hashtag gains is going to be on the brink of being done after the photo shoot Saturday. Because after the photo shoot Saturday, I'm singing it, sending it off to get formatting and cover art. And that cover art formatting company will have my mission statement, will have my description, will have my key elements, everything, everything. So things are about to happen, guys. Things are about to happen. Things are about to happen. Big things are coming. You guys are freaking awesome. Awesome. Thank you guys for being here through the journey, through, through growing, through these lows, and through these mediums, and through these highs, through these mountain tops and these low dips through this roller coaster you guys are awesome all love until next time good night